hello guys welcome to coding cafe in this tutorial we will start coding on our chat app okay so let's firstly we will create our folder in exam to save our to save our entire coding so we will name it this folder as chat okay in this chat folder we will create another folder we will name it as pages in this pages folder we will store all of our html css and php files okay so let first open your text editor i am using sublime text editor so we will first create a page and we will name it as con.php just for the connection okay and we will save it in our directory which will is pages and we will name it as co double n dot php okay so for connection to our database so let's start we will start and php text okay in this we will first uh, try if the database connect successfully okay so we will say new p d o okay p d o uh, in this p d o uh, we will um, we will begin our host name and our password okay so my sql okay and the host will be equals to local host okay the host will be equals to local host and our db name means database name our database name is name is chat so we will db name will be equals to chat and after the db name we will have our root and after the root we will have a password so we don't need to fill this okay so guys just use this one and use brackets over here sorry for that this is my first time so i am little nervous so then we will catch an error if the database uh, can't connect successfully then we will give out an error like this look okay exception e and under here we will say that die and this die we will just type e double r o r e double r o r error and then to this and dollar e and we will equal this to get m e double s a a g get message get message okay so done so now we will just check if the database is connect successfully or not if it's connect successfully then it will echo out and then we will echo connect s u to z e to the success fully okay so let's check so let's check it chat slash pages and in pages we will have our co double n dot php see our database connect successfully so it gave out and connects fully okay so just remove this so our database connect successfully so next we will create an another page uh, in this page we will just uh, uh, create all of our classes uh, which will be used in the uh, in the coding so we will name this as classes classes.php okay classes.php save it 
so php okay so we will first create our class and we will name this as user okay in this class we will get user id user name and user email and password to register them in our database so first we will create an variables for it private first variable will be user user id okay the second one will be user name i think and the third one will be user mail user mail and the fourth one will be user password user password user password okay guys so first we will firstly create and public function uh, to get the user id okay so public function get user id okay uh, so we will return using this tag and we will return the user id to the database okay so then we will create another function public function so then we will set our user id okay and uh, this will be user id okay and it will be equals to variable name user id okay guys okay guys we will copy this and past is here as a string now we will just copy this whole bunch of code from here and paste it three times so the first one will be for user id and now well the second one will be for user name okay user name so we will now take the username from the user and put it in the database okay so we will just change this to user name and this one also to user name this one and then this one uh, okay so the, this uh, function will take the username from the user and uh, set the username in our database now the next function will be for the user mail okay m a i l mail means email we will using this function we will take from the user the email okay and using this function we will enter in our database set user mail okay user mail okay and the next one will be for the user password okay this one will be for user password it will take the user from it will take password from the user and set it in our database okay okay guys okay so now we will create a function and this function will be used to uh, enter the username email and password into our database so we will create
this password So now guys, now we will execute our data. Okay, so we will using array and in this array we will execute our data. Okay, execute our data. <coughs> so the first one is user name, user name will be equals to greatest and greater this and this will we will get the username from the user okay and the next one will be user mail yes and user mail will be this and we will get the user mail from user and then we will uh, uh, take the user password so user password will be get user password so we will get our user password from the users so we will save this okay guys so this is it for this tutorial and we will meet our next tutorial and go further so thank you guys for watching uh, subscribe to our channel coding cafe thanks for watching